On this episode, we talk about the importance of free time and how I plan on changing my routine to make every second count. What's up guys, my name is Alex Caves and after coming back to Eugene and going back to work and to my old routine, I realized that I wasn't being practical with my free time. I value my free time immensely, but lately, a month or two before my trip to Hawaii, I would catch myself slacking off and wasting time more and more frequently. Um, when I got home after putting in eight hours of solid work, all I wanted to do was grab some food, get comfortable, and watch some shows, which made it harder to get back up and to work on Studio Caves, let alone exercise. And I think this is something we all get caught up in. You get into this habit of treating home as a place of comfort and relaxation. So all you want to do after work is come home and be lazy. And the funny thing is most of us sit during our day job. So why are we coming home and sitting some more? <laughs> this habit of inactivity is a dangerous habit to get into. And I used to play baseball in high school, super active and running around like crazy as a kid. And now I'm catching myself thinking at night, have I sweated today at all? This is how you start seeing some extra cushion around your waist by not sweating. And, uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that relaxing is a bad thing. You know, relaxing is a very important part of a healthy lifestyle. And we all need an escape from the stresses that we encounter throughout the day. But you also have to consider at what cost. So what I'm saying is, if you end up doing nothing after work, you know, watching TV, smoking weed, playing video games, what have you, what is your free time worth? Think about it this way. The effort and time that you put into at work has a monetary value to your employer. You are trading your skill set and time, a commodity you can never get back, for cash, money. Time is never free if you think about it. In fact, it is the most expensive currency every single person has on this earth, because we cannot get more of it. Uh, so during the times you're not trading your currency for cash, how are you spending it? Are you spending it wisely or are you just flushing it down the toilet? As Tony Robbins' famous quote states, progress is happiness. Meaning to feel fulfilled in life, there needs to be a goal or a purpose that you can pro progress towards. It is the act of growth that makes you feel good and fulfilled, thus making you feel happy. And with the designer's mindset, of constantly reflecting on what's happening and devising solutions for improvement. In this topic of time, after reevaluating and reflecting on my routine, here's my plan to maximize the use of my free time. As for my self-awareness, one of the key things that I know to be true for me is that in order for me to be productive, I either need to work at home during the day when I still have plenty of energy or remove myself to a different location so that I am forced to be productive even when I'm tired and it's, it makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, another benefit that I'm uh, planning to take full advantage of is that my day job allows me to set my own work schedule and so as long as I'm accommodating to meetings and meet my deadlines for projects, I can come in whenever I want, which is awesome. When I was working part-time for them like uh, a year ago, uh, I was coming in from six to nine, an evening shift, and I had no problems being tired and productive. So with this idea, a typical day of my new schedule looks like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, from nine to two, I'll work at II, a block of five hours. From two to six, focus on studio caves and you know grab lunch and do some errands, whatever I need to do. And then come back to III from six to nine to finish out my eight hours. On Thursday, I'm keeping the traditional schedule from nine to five or six because uh, I still have Taiko once a week in the evening on Thursdays. Uh, but with this new schedule, which just got approved by my supervisor, uh, I have a dedicated 16 hours during the weekday of Studio Caves, which should make a huge impact uh, in our output, and I'm very excited uh, for this change. This also gives me flexibility in the weekends to either be lazy, <laughs> put in additional work for Studio Caves, or go on a weekend trip if I feel. It's very flexible. And lastly, I'm trying to create a situation where there's no more excuses of not working out in the evening. And like I said previously, for me, location is what helped me be productive when I'm tired. So progressing towards my health goals 
I just got a membership at a bouldering gym that stays open till 11 p.m. Uh, perfect for spending one or two hours uh, of sweat equity after work every single night. And then from there I go home, relax, take a shower, and pass out. <laughs> There's no doubt this new schedule is going to be tough at first, but knowing that I am making every second count makes me energized and very excited for the results this will bring forth in the coming weeks. Now keep you guys posted on how the schedule works out, so please subscribe and click the notification button to uh, stay in the loop. And one last thing before I go, I want to leave you with these questions to ask yourself to reevaluate your situation. Question one, how much do I value my free time? Two, how many hours am I wasting on a daily basis? And lastly, what can I do to change up my routine for the better? If you're awesome, please share your answers by commenting on the box below. I'd love to hear your concerns and how you plan on improving them. And don't forget to use the three steps of the design process, uh, discovery, identify the problem, exploration, come up with ideas to solve them, and implementation, actually try those ideas out to see if it works. Well, that is it for me, guys. Let me know if you found this valuable or a waste of time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.